the recurve jewel from Mike Vapes and Watofo. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Vevin Vick here back with another review. Today we are looking at this. This is the recurve jewel from Mike Vapes and Watofo. 24 mil wide RDA dual coil this time. Uh, it follows on from the very popular single coil recurve RDA. So the recurve dual now with dual coils. Um, a few other changes as well. They've had to make compromises and tweaks and changes to fit into coils. Uh, they've changed the airflow a bit, changed the deck layout a bit as well. The shape has changed as well. It's more like the recurve straight caps if you saw those that they brought out later um, so it's got that going on wide range of colors available on this it's about 30 pounds in the uk 35 dollars in america it's like six colors six seven colors available and uh, it's watofo you know it's going to be well made you know it's going to be affordable let's slide down low so i can give you a nice look at this um, give you a nice up closely look then we'll come back up top for pros and cons of which there are a few, a few little uh, things to talk about. So let's go. All right, guys, here we are down low with the Recurve Jewel. This is the packaging, very fancy, very cool indeed. I'm gonna go through the packaging because you get uh, a lot of good stuff with this. So let's do that. Put the RDA to one side. You get a lot of stuff that's useful, important, cool with this. <clears throat> you get your allen key for removing the 510 pin, it does come with this wonk pin as well and you get your Phillips screwdriver for the build. You get one of these as well, uh, it's a, it's, a coil, it's like a mini coily, it's like a coil lead guide. Um, and yeah, that's saying 7mm is what you need and you can use the tool that comes with to, uh, to cut that to spares. You get another drip tip as well, another goon tip. It's like a clear one with the old recurve bend in. Pretty cool. Um, this is the, the coily tooly thing. So it's like a mini one, like a travel one. Um, but yeah, so you take it to the setting you want. And uh, you put the lead in. You get it? Like that. Put your lead in, bosh. 7mm is what you want. Uh, so yeah, that's a that's that's a pretty doody tool, pretty cool take on the old coily. Uh, you get some cotton, which is good, and you get some very nice coils as well. And these coils are good coils. These are good coils, uh, very very nice coils indeed. I didn't use, I haven't used them this time round, but they will get used because they're good coils. You get some cotton as well, so you literally get everything you need to set this up straight out of the box which I think is great. I think Watofo are probably leading the game on the packaging of atomizers uh, in the affordable world right now. Um, so yeah, props to them for that. So this is it, the recurve jewel. You get one fancy drip tip. If you get stainless steel, you get blue, for example. If you get black, you get red. You get one fancy one and one clear one as well. But I'm sure you've all got loads of goon tips by now adjustable airflow here so this has changed up quite a bit um, I'll show it you again when I open it up but you've now got three holes and you can turn the deck you can turn the, the barrel to uh, reduce these it's still very don't make any mistake at all it's still very 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 airy with uh, these 12 holes open uh, so although visually it might seem like there's less holes <laughs> it's, it's still plenty airy don't worry about that um, 810 tip, goon tip, other tips are fitting very well. Underneath you've got your 510 pin, you've got recurve dual, mic vapes on there, but also you've got your 510 pin, which is lovely and protruding, very nice 510 pin, and you can switch that for the goon one, which is in the spares. So happy days, happy days with that. Let's open it up. Okay, so opening it up, this is it. This is the recurve dual deck. Uh, obviously dual coil now, so you've got your four holes in there, you tighten those with these screws here, you've already cut the leads to the exact length using your tool, and uh, you just drop your two leads in, you've got your uh, two sides there, obviously the cotton goes down into these two deep wells, and this squonks very very well indeed, I've been squonking it mainly. 
and you can see you've got your airflow now your airflow is much straighter now your airflow is much much straighter now if uh, if I get this tool uh, you can see that there is a slight angle on the airflow the air hole it is slightly daggering but essentially you've got a very straight airflow now compared to the original um, and that that is fine by me absolutely fine by me you've also noticed that you don't have these holes underneath anymore the the original one had very low air holes very close to the base um, which is uh, which was good as well but uh, it has changed because they need to fit the room in for these coils uh, so there we go so when you put it back on and the one thing to note is it has these little latches inside I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see but there's some tiny latches in here and this is what stop it from spinning endlessly and it makes it really tricky to put on and there's just no way without that being on a mod I can get that on also the o-rings are all dry as well so we'll just park that one so we'll park that one and show you this one this is my stainless steel one that I've been using a lot a couple of builds in here and uh, this one I've used for quite a while quite a while been squonking with it as you saw up top and uh, yeah it's great though absolutely no issues at all you can see it's all nice and gunky because I've used it a lot but that's all good coil, coil height is perfect because obviously the leads dictate that and it's seven mil leads and uh, the airflow is bang on straight with the coils nice and lovely high on it really easy to wick nice deep juice wells pretty straightforward really that's why I haven't done a full build on this one uh, check out my vapes presentation if you want to see that though but yeah very very straightforward but very very good it's kind of just simplified the recurve really as well as being dual coil now it's sort of simplified it any quirks that it had before have kind of been smoothed out there's no bend in the barrel anymore there's no bend in the airflow anymore so it just works great now it just it's just a really really solid RDA and take note as well look at the amount of coil in there compared to the amount of space in there You've got a lot of coil for the amount of chamber you can see and uh, that is the kind of thing that really helps the flavor so there we go I'll put this back on my um, mod so I can show you uh, so I can show you the putting it back on and the airflow adjusting so it's really finicky I don't know if there's a trick that I don't know go on <laughs> but there's like a there I don't know what it is but it's almost like a trick to getting it back on and off uh, and then there's your adjustable airflow there like that once you've got it on though all good that's why I'm enjoying squonking with it this is it on the UL blocks which I'll show you again up top let's go up top pros and cons okay guys that was the recurve jewel down low pretty good isn't it pretty good uh, very slick very sharp packaging accessories uh, all that sort of stuff really really slick with this um, I really like the the look of it the layout of the deck how easy it is to build and wick I love that it comes with a little build block so you can cut your leads I think 7 mil I think 7 mil the block says um, but uh, yeah you, you just put your coils in the block cut them down all super simple super easy comes with you know drip tip options Watofo really knock it out of the park with the whole presentation, the box, everything you need to have, you get in their kit. So loving all that sort of stuff. Um, I like the changes they've made as well with this jewel. It's it is a jewel. It's the recurve jewel, but it's also in a way kind of the recurve V2. And you know, with a V2, often the smoothing out a few of the slightly controversially bits from the previous version it's taken away some of the recurve-esque features so obviously the barrel doesn't have that that bend in which some people love some people hated before the thing with that bend is it really reduced the deck uh, so it did have a purpose as well as looking the way it did um, but that's gone it's a straight cap now um, the other thing is the airflow as I've said the airflow the juice when you squonked with it it went over the air holes and everyone was like that's crazy it's going to flood uh, but it doesn't it doesn't leak at all uh, and but that's gone as well the airflow is very side on now so it's lost some of its recurviness uh, in a way but um, the payoff is spectacular because that extra coil in there 
just intensifies the flavor so so much if you're a single coil rda guy that's fine but uh, the beefiness of the flavor and cloud you get from a dual coil like this is uh, epic at times so the really big thing to point out is that it's so tasty lovely clouds lovely big airflow easy to build great flavor everything you want everything you want from your rda is on here as i've said range of colors available nice and affordable really well made all those boxes ticked um so yeah i think it's really good overall the quirks i've got with this the, there's one major 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 quirk with this that's a slight negative um it's one of the main reasons i'm actually squonking with this this is the u well blocks it's like a pumper squonker it, per it perfectly matches the drip that came with it. That was a factor. But uh, the main reason I'm squonking with this RDA, not dripping with this RDA, is I find the cap, taking the cap on and off, really annoying. Um, so when you take it off, obviously it comes off fine, but then it's got these little latches, and the little latches have to line up really well. Yes, I got it on pretty quick that time. But uh, sometimes it takes me ages to just... Uh, you see what I mean? It's that's slightly frustrating if you if you're someone that needs to take your cap on and off all the time, uh, that can be really frustrating. So I'm much preferring actually squonking with it because it means I hardly ever take the cap off. You know. Great flavour, great clouds. Now, so that's 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 a little thing. That's a little thing. Um, beyond that, I have no major, major gripes at all. The drip tip seems to be one of these drip tips where they're eating into the 810 circle. So juice collects on the bottom of the drip tip. So over time, it gets a bit juicy in the old drip tip. But uh, that's an absolute nothing as well. Overall, I think it's really, really good. That's my only real gripe, that the putting the top cap on. I get why it does it. It does it so that you can very easily take off your RDA because it latches on. Um, I totally get it's it's the reason for those latches, but it just makes it a little bit fiddly to put on. Um, I don't want to overfocus on that, but that is just my one clear negative of this. Other than that, I think it's as tasty and as cloudy a dual coil RDA as you wish to see. It's probably my favourite dual coil RDA since the Goon. To be honest, um, there's nothing that's really above this you know it's um the dead rabbit is a very very good rda as well but this is right up there with that in my opinion again because of the nature of the deck your coils are quite high so they're quite close to the top and that really does add to the flavor the airflow is now just dagger straight as well like uh like the goon itself you know so it's just a fantastic vape it really is a fantastic vape done a really good job with this i like the tweaks and the compromises they made to get the second coil in Really easy to build, really easy to wick, great flavour, great clouds, looks great, it's affordable. What more can you say? An excellent RDA, good job by Watofo, good job by Mike Vapes. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, are you getting one of these, have you got one of these, how are you getting on with it, all that good stuff. Like and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you on the next video. We've got some really cool stuff coming up uh, this week, so stay tuned. Cheers.